New data is showing that many Americans are skipping doses of life life saving prescription medicines because they cannot afford them. A new poll found that 44% of people 65 and older are not aware of the $35 a month insulin cap. It also showed one third of people don't know about upcoming out of pocket savings. In 2025, more price controls will take effect, lowering the annual out of pocket cap to $2,000. So we're going to talk about these Medicare changes as a result of the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, we're also going to talk about any and all kind of Medicare and also health care insurance related questions. Catherine CVA is with AARP. Steve Edmonds is with Alliance Insurance Services. This is how you get your question to our experts today. 336-379-5775. You text those questions in. They are anonymous questions. We will answer them live on the air. All right, so Catherine, let's first talk about this $35 insulin cap. Yes, so one of the real benefits of, of the recent legislation is a cap on insulin that is $35, and that includes people who use an insulin pump and have their insulin delivered that way. So one of the things you need to do if you are being charged excessively for that is go and talk with your medical team, your doctor, to make sure that the prescription that you're using um, is one if, if it needs to change or if not, that you can take advantage of that $35 benefit. Okay, so to the doctor first and then to the pharmacist to kind of figure that one out. Right, and, and you might ask the pharmacist if, if there's a reason you're not um, paying it at the capped level, but it may well be that the drug you're prescribed is not one of the ones that is considered under the insulin cap. So you need to work that out between your doctor, your pharmacist and Medicare, but you shouldn't be paying more than $35 a month. Yeah, that is a huge savings for sure. It is. All right, so we're talking about some new out-of-pocket savings. Of course, it doesn't happen until 2025, Steve but it's still gonna be something that we're looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna that's going to be a great deal coming down the road. And, and hopefully that's gonna be something that uh, a lot of seniors will be able to save some out of pocket costs. Uh, but just to address that a little bit, uh, one of the most confusing things on Medicare products right now probably is the prescription drug coverage. Most people don't realize it's three stages to that. There's an, an initial coverage phase uh, a coverage gap sta uh, stage, a catastrophic phase. So that 2000 is going to come into play where you're meeting that catastrophic phase a lot quicker. So that should save a lot of people a lot of money, especially if you're having to take, you know, a lot of prescription drugs. Okay. And unfortunately, that doesn't start till 2025. So we're going to go back and concentrate on what's going on right now. Um, we wanted to talk about vaccines and whether Medicare covers vaccines. Absolutely, it yeah. does. Um, and they are extending that coverage, not only for the things that, that most of us are familiar with, everything from our tetanus shots and our flu shots, uh, but this year they're also starting to cover a new injection called RS, for RSV, which is a respiratory virus that can be very deadly to older people. So um, when you go in again, you need to be asking the question of, am I getting all of the vaccinations that could help me save my life? Mm -hmm. And you know, it's one of those things where you are your best advocate, so you need to speak up, have all your questions maybe written out before you go so that you don't forget to ask any of those questions. And that has nothing to do with age. That just has to do with any and all of us going to the doctor. It's it's overwhelming when you're in that in that circumstance. Absolutely. And, and I tell people all the time, get your questions in on a sheet of paper and take them with you and be faithful to yourself by going through all the questions, even though you may feel a little bit rushed. OK. All right. So let's talk about some of the things that are happening uh, right now when it comes to uh, Medicare and things of that nature. Let's talk about the family glitch fix. So what is the family glitch, Steve? So the family glitch has been around ever since really Obamacare started in the Affordable Care Act plans back in 2013, I guess, is when we first started writing those. So the family glitch is like it's like if, if a person's working and their employer is furnishing them insurance and then they can add their family on most of the time. But a lot of times that family coverage can just run really, really excessive premiums. 
So what's going to happen now with this family glitch rule is your, if your premiums are really excessive, you might qualify for the Affordable Care Act plans, which could bring your premiums just down drastically. The, the simple formula for that basically is if you know what your annual uh, income is, and then you know what the premium is for your health insurance. If that health insurance premium is running greater than 9.12% of your income, you qualify for that family glitch rule. Okay, and that is something that you can call and talk to your provider about. You can call uh, an independent insurance agent like Steve himself and just ask that question and see if they can run those numbers for you because you want to make sure that you're getting what you're supposed to be getting. Before we head to break, Catherine, let's uh, answer the question that is always asked, and that is when do I need to enroll for Medicare? What is the timeline? So that wonderful 65th birthday is a really critical one three months before your birthday, the three months after your birthday, or the month of your birthday, you must sign up for Medicare. Uh, and that includes those people that are still working and even have coverage through their employer. Um, you automatically sign up, Part A begins to cover, and then you can work with your HR department to determine whether or not your company's plan is one that is covered, uh, that is considered a, approved coverage for Medicare Part B, which and Part B for all of you, you that have not thought about that yet, that's your doctor's visits, your lab, um, and your outpatient radiology, physical therapy, and all that stuff. Yeah, we don't ever want anybody to miss that. When you are 65, you must sign up for Medicare, even if you still have insurance with your job.